Ye S41 Agriculture Objective of Pass 41 The objective of Pass 41 is to establish standards of accounting for agricultural activity. The management of the biological transformation of biological asset into agricultural produce. Key definitions of PES 41 Agriculture Agricultural activity is the management by an entity of the biological transformation of biological asset for sale into agricultural produce or into additional biological asset. Agricultural produce is the harvested product of the entity's biological asset. A biological asset is a living animal or plant. Biological transformation comprises the processes of growth, degeneration, production, and procreation that cause qualitative or quantitative changes in a biological asset. A group of biological asset is an aggregation of similar living animals or plants. Harvest is the detachment of produce from a biological asset or the cessation of biological asset life processes. Barrier plant is a living plant that is used in the production process of agricultural produce. It is expected to bear produce for more than one period, as a remote likelihood of being sold. Initial Recognition An enterprise should recognize a biological asset or agricultural produce only when the enterprise has controlled the asset as a result of past events. It is probable that future economic benefits will flow to the enterprise and the fair value or cost of the asset can be measured reliably. Measurement Biological asset should be measured on initial recognition and at subsequent reporting dates at fair value last cost of disposal, unless fair value cannot be reliably measured. Agricultural produce should be measured at fair value last cost of disposal at the point of harvest because as a harvested produce is marketable commodity, there is no measurement reliability exception for produce. The gain or initial recognition of biological asset at fair value in changes on fair value of asset during a period are reported in net profit or loss. An initial recognition for of agricultural produce at fair value should be included in net profit or loss for the period in which it arises. All costs related to biological assets that are measured at fair value are recognized as expenses when incurred, other than costs to purchase biological assets. Bearer plants are accounted for under PAS 16 using the cost model or the revaluation model. Before bearer plants are able to bear agricultural produce, example, before maturity, they are accounted for a self-constructed item or property planted equipment. The agricultural produce of bearer plants remains within the scope of PAS 41 and is therefore accounted for repair. PAS 41 presumes that fair value can be reliably measured for most biological assets. However, the presumption can be rebutted for a biological asset that, at the time it is initially recognized in financial statement, in such asset is measured at cost less, accumulated depreciation, and impairment losses. If the asset does not have quoted market price in an active market and for which other methods of reasonably estimating fair value are determined to be clearly inappropriate or unworkable. But the enterprise must still measure all of its biological assets at fair value. If circumstances change and fair value becomes reliably measurable, a switch to fair value less disposal cost is required. Measurement of fair value a quoted market price in an active market for biological asset or, or agricultural produce is the most reliable basis for determining the fair value of that asset. If an active market does not exist, PES 41 provides guidance for choosing another measurement basis. First choice would be a market determined price such as the most recent market price for that type of asset or market prices for similar or related asset. If reliable market-based prices are not available, the present value of expected net cash flows from the cash should be used, discounted at current market determined pre-tax rate. In limited circumstances, cost is an indicator of fair value, where little biological transformation has taken place 
or the impact of biological transformation on price is not expected to be material. The fair value of biological asset is based on current quoted market prices and is not adjusted to reflect the actual price in binding sale contract that provides for delivery at a future date. Other issues A. The change in fair value of biological asset is part physical change and part unit price change. Separate disclosure of the two components is encouraged, not required. B. Fair value measurements stop at harvest. PES2 inventories applies after harvest. C. Agricultural land is accounted for under PES 16 property, plant, and equipment. However, biological assets that are physically attached to the land are measured as biological assets separate from the land. D. Intangible assets relating to agricultural activity, for example, milk quotas, are accounted for under PES 38 intangible asset. E. Unconditional government grants received in respect of biological assets measured at fair value are reported as income when the grant becomes receivable. Disclosure requirements in PES 41 include Carrying amount of biological asset Description of an enterprise's biological asset by broad group Change in fair value during the period Fair value of agricultural produce harvested during the period Description of the nature of an enterprise's activities which each group of biological asset and then financial measure or estimates of physical quantities of output during the period and asset on hand at the end of the period. Information about biological asset whose title is restricted or that are pledged as security. Commitments for development or acquisitions of biological asset. Financial risk management strategies. Method and assumptions for determining fair value. Reconciliation of changes in the carrying amount of biological asset, showing separately changes in value, purchases, sales, harvesting, business combination, and foreign exchange differences. Disclosure of quantified description of each group of biological asset, distinguishing between consumable and bearer asset or between mature and immature asset, is encouraged but not required. If fair value cannot be measured reliably, Additional required disclosure include Description of the asset and explanation of the circumstances If possible, arrange within which fair value is highly likely to fall Gain or loss recognized and disposal Depreciation method Useful lives or depreciation rates Gross carrying amount and the accumulated depreciation beginning and ending If the fair value of a logical asset previously measured at cost now becomes available Certain additional disclosure are required. Disclosure relating to government grants include the nature and extent of grants, unfulfilled condition and significant decreases in the expected level of grants.